Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm still um, kneeling down in the altar of my prayer. Um, this morning in Ekiti State, uh, we still have a lot of battle to fight. Uh, yesterday, I didn't update you on time, but I've written a little bit what happened in um, my journey um, from Lagos to Ekiti State yesterday. So when you go to Facebook, you will read it. You will read what I wrote there. But this morning, I just want to encourage you um, to stay strong because the enemy has engaged the Christians with a very strong battle. After watching the clips, the cartoon that I posted yesterday on my timeline concerning how the devil and his agents enriched out demon to be able to frustrate the Christians, cause them to uh, make a, a lot of ministers of God to fornicate and other things. Yes, it is true, but we must put up a fight, like I said. When they were talking yesterday, when I was watching that video yesterday, I saw so many mistakes I've made myself. I saw so many of them. I was like, wow, this is a aha moment. You know, like, like wow, I've discovered where the fault is. So I, I now shift ground. There are some things I used to watch I don't, I won't watch again. There are some channels I won't even change, talk to into because I know that these are the plans of the enemy to engage us in frivolities and the bible will be ignored we hardly open this anymore this we hardly open it anymore because devil has already masterminded the game and he's playing it very well and we are falling into the trap and we are perishing bible say my people perish for lack of knowledge we have already gotten the knowledge that's why i don't see any information i have to give it out any information that will help a christian i will give it out but let me say this, uh, you know, so many Christians, so many pastors, men of God, I want you to know this. I have been praying for you and I will continue to pray for you. But I will continue to rebuke every error sharply. If you see me walking in error, please help me by rebuking me. Even if I don't find it funny, whatever, I have to still go back and kneel down and pray. And you see, later on I will realize that you are telling me the truth. It's better you tell me the truth than coming hypocritically hanging around me as a friend when you are just a serpent. Tell each other the truth. If not, will we all perish and go to hell? What is the, what is the need of after all this struggle and you go and suffer eternally in, in, in lake of fire? Is it worth it? I think this is the time for we should uh, make up our mind on what we want. But let me just say this. There's something I saw in Galatians. As I was studying, studying this morning, I bump into uh, something that I, I've heard over and over again. But it makes more sense this morning. It makes more sense. Listen, Apostle Paul was talking here in Galatia. He said, look at what he said, Galatia chapter 1. Let me go to message translation because message usually sometimes devalue the value of the Bible. But to be honest... Sometimes it makes it easier for you to understand exactly the mind of God or what God is saying or what the Bible is saying. Listen, he says, chapter 1, verse 8. I want you to hear. He said, let me be blunt. If one of us, even an angel from heaven, were to preach something other than what we preached originally. Preach something other than what we preached originally. That's perverting the gospel. Speaking nonsense calling it preaching if anybody stand in that pulpit whether in nigerian pulpits or american pulpits or wherever they base all these prosperity pastors shame unto you all shame i say you are an abomination unto the gospel every minute money 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 so 77 dollars and before seven days you will reap 7.7 .7 million you are a fool and you are a liar you are deceiving the people the children of god what are you doing with all those money what buying private jets is that what you are called for no bring tithe and offering into the house of lord so there will be plenty of food but people yet starving people are suffering in your church you are cruising around with aston martin bugatti bentley continental rose Royce phantom all the choices cars in the world pastors are packing it in their garage and people are perishing everywhere hell with that kind of preaching don't even the channel where I see you beef, I don't even tune such channel anymore there are channels you don't watch some of the American Christian channels don't even tune in because once you tune in they are talking about money, 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 money all the time 
Are you not ashamed? Are you people not ashamed of what you are doing to the gospel? Listen, let me tell you what Bible is saying because this time around, nobody's going to get away from what God is saying. You will be a curse. You will be a curse. Curse will follow you and your descendant if you don't stop. If you don't stop perverting the gospel, go out there and begin to win souls. Tell people the truth. Stop messing up. Just stop polluting the altar of God because fire will consume you. The days of Elijah is here. The days of Noah is here. And the days of Ezekiel, the days of Jeremiah is, is now. We cannot continue perverting the gospel thinking that the mighty is not seeing us. The all God, the all sufficient God is watching. Let me tell you. He said, let me be a, let me be blunt. If one of us, even if an angel from heaven were to preach something other than what we preached originally, let him be cursed. Let him be what? Cursed. He went further. He didn't stop there. He said, I said it once again. I will say it again. If anyone, regardless of reputation or credentials, preaches something other than what you received originally, let him be cursed. That's what the Bible thing says. And in verse 10 it says, Do you think I speak this strongly in order to manipulate crowds or curry favor with God? Or get popular applause? No. I, Christian Chuk, I don't do that. I'm not looking, I'm not looking for your favor or looking for to get applause from anybody. I am who I am. God sent me in on this earth for a purpose. That's why the devil wants to keep me in ignorance. That's why I end up in primary six education. My parents couldn't take me to for, to educate to secondary school or university level. But you know what? The devil wanted to silence me because the Bible says my people perish for lack of knowledge. The, those illiteracy, those things that the devil brought to hold me captive, to keep me in bondage. I break out of it. I realize that there's no limitation for anyone who is son of God or daughter of God. You go out there where whether you can speak or you cannot speak, just begin to verbalize what you know. If you don't know anything, just say that Jesus Christ died because of you on the cross of Calvary. Remind people what price he paid for your sake. Remind people about the grace that is in, that's running like a fountain upon your life. Remind them about the blood that flows in your artery. That you are not alive because of any man. You are alive because of he that was crucified on the cross of Calvary. The one that paid the ultimate price. And he's Said at the end of it all, it is finished. The price is paid in full. Just keep on, keep on holding on to what God has taught you. Don't ever let any man say any other thing that is not said in the Bible to you. Gospel are being perverted. If you go back to my timeline, please go and watch that clip. So you see how the agent of darkness, they were all working 24-7 to make sure they are not sleeping. And Christians are sleeping yet, sometimes 12 hours, sometimes 8 hours. Why are you sleeping so much? A little sleep here, a little this, that, slumber here, slumber there. What is happening? Can't you get up and put up a fight? Make it a mandate that every day one, every day one soul must be saved by you. And watch God. Because when one is saved, that one saved another one, the multiplication will, be, will increase in the kingdom. And our, our Father's kingdom will depopulate the kingdom of darkness. But look at what is happening today. Kingdom of darkness is increasing every day. How are we going to continue like this? And we are not even ashamed to call ourselves pastors, bishops, reverend, and so on. Servants indeed. No, you are a slave. You are not a servant of God. You are a slave to money. You are a slave to this mammon spirit. Get out from that rubbish or else <laughs> altar will locate you. And when altar locates you, you might run mad. See, altar can naked a man. I'm telling you, there are so much fire in altar. But the mercy of God is running out of patience. Let me tell you, long suffering can sometimes get to a place where you say, no, no, no. When serpent is pursuing you and then you happen to get to the end of the war, what do you do? You will turn back and begin to defend yourself, isn't it? And if you are pursuing a serpent and serpent is running away from you, when you get to a place that he cannot run anymore, you get to a wall where there's no space to run away, the serpent will turn back and bite you. Let me he said this he who break the hedge serpent will bite if you break the hedge in the church trust me the fire of altar the fire from the altar will consume you there are still altar there are still fire in the altar the, our god cannot change he remains unchangeable god the same yesterday the same today and will forever remain the same i don't know who i'm speaking to this morning 
pass the message across your pastors. Pass it to anywhere, wherever. Share it to any group where you know they are. Because without them hearing the truth, they will perish. And they think that they are serving God. Listen to most of, in fact, most of our preachers in America today. Listen to them. Listen to the most of our preachers in Nigeria today. Listen to them. These two nations, I can't stop emphasizing on these two nations, especially Nigeria, USA, and United Kingdom. These people are perverting the gospel and they are bringing curse upon themselves, upon their descendants. The Bible says, I will visit the parents with the iniquities of their father, their children with the iniquities of their father. He will visit the children with the iniquities of their father. Why are you cursing your children? You are bringing a curse upon your children by preaching and perverting the gospel. Speaking nonsense in the altar. I get so much angry in my spirit when I think of what people are doing. Despite the price Jesus Christ paid for us. He paid a very high price. I will encourage you to go back to your Bible. Everyone that is listening to this, please pick up your Bible. Read Galatians chapter 1. Please try to use a New Living Translation or use a King James Version, uh, what is it called, um, a Message Version or even Amplified Version so you can get more detail of what Apostle Paul is saying here. If any man preach any other gospel which we have not taught you, which is not the original gospel, let him be a cost, a cost person. And when you are cost, your heaven will be blocked. It will be like a brass of iron, brass over your heaven. Your ground will not yield fruit or increase anymore. You will have children and an enemy will inherit your children. You will marry and somebody else will take your wife. These are cause and you don't want that. And I pray it will not be your portion. None of you will ever be cursed. Except if you refuse to hear this, listen to this truth and uh, accept the truth. Whatever you see, you take. Our God is not mocked because he says, Whatsoever a man soweth, so shall he reap. Go back again to Second Chronicles 7.14 so that our land will be healed because there are so many things that have happened in our land. Go back there. He says again, I love to emphasize this all the time because that's the, that's the only process that we have to go through. He says, If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face, walk away from their evil ways, their money loving, the scandals in the pulpit. Walk away from sleeping around with every choir member that looks good. Walk away from all the nonsense happening in people's life. You know, the altar. In fact, so many things are coming out from the churches today. Do you know the challenges I'm facing in the, in, in the place that I go to minister in prisons? Some of the Muslim leaders, they tell me, go and remove something from our people's eye before I come and remove from their own eyes. That's what some of the Muslim leaders in the prisons are telling me. I don't blame them because we are messing up big time. Everybody just interested of the big properties, big cars, and all these mundane things, a vanity. That's what we are interested in. And the Muslims are watching. These are people that God sent you to go and save. And you go there perverting the gospel. What do you expect them to think about you? Yesterday was a big battle between me and their CP, the controller of the prison in this state, Ekite. Big battle. We engage in war. He refused that I'm not going to enter the prison. Said that we have a Muslim first, we have some Chinese, and I have to fight. I said, you can't stop me. If you stop me, you lose your job. That's my threat. If you stop me, my God will rip you off from whatever that is benefit that you are, you are enjoying. It is just, we have to use our authority. Any man could have authority as a king, but me, I am a priest. And a priest is higher than a king. So when a priest passes a decree, heaven just back it up. My senior partners, Holy Spirit, will back it up immediately. And when they back it up, and something will begin to happen. You might find yourself being burnt by fire. So we should always carry the authority wherever we go. That is the authority given to those that win souls. Because that beautiful are the feet of them that preach gospel. And the person that wins soul is wise. When a soul is won, heaven rejoice. Can't you see? Can't you see that we have a lot of job to do to be able to make heaven happy? If you cannot make heaven happy, you cannot come into that kingdom. That's what it is. Our father is not an author of confusion. Whatever he says, he will do. Make me happy and I will build a mansion for you. I will prepare a mansion for you. When you come there, you enjoy it eternally. Shall we please, please, go into the original gospel that Apostle Paul then preached, Peter then, James then. Please, let us go back there. Stop this, your madness, this stu stupid money, 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 money. 
so seven million so one million so seven dollars so this and that stop this rubbish it's annoying and some nigerian pastors will say if you sow one million naira this morning by the by this time next sunday you will own a property in a choicest place in nigeria banana island or in vgc who told you you are a fool women men don't buy to that rubbish anymore stop putting your money where it will not go to work put your money where you will see evidence of it yes i said so stop all those nonsense sewing thing because it's annoying it's very very annoying if you don't know what to do with your money yeah just go and look around your neighbors you will see widows you will see people that their children have not been to school because there's no money to pay school fees you will see people that haven't even got anything to wear no food in their in their in their in their house just please go and begin to share with them and ladies all of you that are buying clothes every day all the clothes you pack in your wardrobe some of them you have not even tested it you have not even worn it please take some of those clothes and give to people that have none stop accumulating this is because one day you are going down to the grave and when you go down to the grave, those clothes and those things and those shoes will not follow you. You pay 120 pounds for human hair, Brazilian hair, Peruvian hair, whatever it's called. And your neighbors have no food to eat. The widow by your house has nothing to eat. What are we doing? And we call ourselves Christians. On Sunday, we have beautiful nails, nice looking, paint ourselves, look, painted sepulchre. That's what you all are. Painted sepulchre. A grave that is well decorated. That's what it is. Empty chaff moving around. What are you doing? You think you have been pressing anybody. You are not. You are just making fool of yourself. Just walk away from all those mundane lives now. And begin to embrace the truth. And that truth is Jesus Christ. That's where I'm going to stop this morning. But please don't forget to go and read your Galatians. Anyone who preached the gospel that we have not taught them. Let him be a cause. Cause follows everybody that call themselves men of God. And they don't want to preach the truth. Yes, hate me if you like, but the truth is this, I will not stop saying the truth. Anytime I, God asks me to open my mouth, I will. If I perish, I perish. I will do exactly as my father bids me. I don't care. I am a soldier of the cross and I'm ready to die at my post. I am ready to die at my own post. Wherever you are posted, be ready to die there. If not, you are not worthy of my kingdom. Because the Bible says that you will forsake your mother, forsake your father, forsake your children, forsake everything that matters and carry your cross and follow me. If not, you will not enter my kingdom. And before anything like yielding fruit, there must be what? Dying. You must die. How do you die? He said, the Bible says, except the corn of wheat fall to the ground and die, it abideth alone. But when he dies, he brings forth much fruit. Do you want to bear fruit? You have to die first. Do you want to bear in, see increase? You must die. If you don't die, there will be no increase. Increase come from dying. Please die. I say go and die. God bless you.